Hello, in this presentation I will talk about the generation of smooth trajectories. In particular, we will see how to generate a fifth order polynomial trajectories. The aims of the presentation are to show how to generate a smooth trajectory between two postures or poses from a fifth order polynomial equation. Then we will see how to apply this type of trajectories for joint trajectory generators following the ideas that we have already saw in a previous presentation, but in this case using a fifth order polynomial expression. Then we will see how to apply these ideas to interpolate between two positions, between two orientations and also between two poses, that is the combination of position and orientation. Finally, we will see how to compute a trajectory passing near a flyby point without stopping. Trajectory generators are required to generate the smooth changes between different positions in order to reduce unwanted vibrations that appear in many electromechanical systems such as robots. So, to fulfill this requirement, we must avoid sudden changes in positions, but also in speeds and accelerations over time. In this sense, a fifth order polynomial equation allows us to arbitrarily specify any initial and final position, velocity and acceleration for a given time interval. This equation has six coefficients that we must compute, as we will see on the next slide. In a generic way, we will define a fifth order polynomial expression as a function of t, where t denotes time, and this is a value between zero and capital T. The derivatives of the polynomial with respect to the time are also polynomials but with a lower uh, degree uh, and they represent in this case the velocities and accelerations of the trajectory. The polynomial is defined by six parameters that must be computed considering uh, a given boundary conditions. These conditions take into account the values of the position, the velocity and the acceleration when the time is zero and also when the time is capital T. The solution for the parameters of the polynomial expression is known and it's shown here on the right. Here I show an example of a joint trajectory that has been generated considering that the value at the beginning of the trajectory must be zero and the value at the end of it must be 20 degrees after 15 seconds. Both the initial and the final velocities and also the accelerations are forced to zero. Thus, uh, given this problem statement, we can obtain the parameters of the polynomial expression as indicated and apply the expression to compute the trajectory over the time. As it can be seen in the figure, uh, the requirements we impose uh, to the trajectory are met. Now we will see how to interpolate between two different orientations. In this case we will use the representation of quaternions since this will allow us to obtain a smooth transition between two different orientations with a simple linear interpolation. Therefore, in the first place here Q denotes the orientation expressed in, uh, in quaternions. This can be obtained for example using the MATLAB command oil to quad, provided that we know the Euler angles. In fact, there are three, uh, six angles that we must know, three corresponding to the initial orientation and another three corresponding to the final orientation. To generate a smooth trajectory between both orientations, we can use the linear expression that I indicate here, where S is a trajectory of dimension 1 that varies between 0 and 1 and this is computed using the fifth order expression that we have already have seen. Usually the boundary conditions for this trajectory are zero uh, at the, for the initial velocities uh, and final velocities and accelerations. Uh, now let's see uh, the animation to see uh, how this works. As you can see there's a smooth transition between these two uh, orientations. 
Another example of uh, uh, an application using these smooth reactors would be the case of generating a smooth straight trajectory in the Cartesian space. In this case, the interpolation is performed between two points, P0 and PT, where S is a trajectory that varies again between 0 and 1. In the example shown here, the initial velocity is 0, while the final velocity is uh, given by the value V capital T. This is obviously arbitrary and can be modified. We can combine these two ideas to generate a pose generator. The idea is that now we can perform a linear interpolation between two poses defined by their position coordinates and also their orientation coordinates with or expressed in quaternions. As before, we can see in the video how this works. You can see there's a smooth transition between these two poses. Finally, we're going to see the case in which we want to generate a trajectory that joins several points, P0, P1 and P2 in the figure, but one of them, P1, it's a flyby point, which means that we must pass near by this point, but with a non-stopping trajectory. That means that the trajectory does not have to stop in P1. To do this, we first compute the lines joining the points to determine the approximation points, here denoted as P1S and P2S. These points can be easily computed just uh, considering uh, the radius of a sphere, in this case uh, given by the parameter r. This is a parameter obviously that has to be specified. Then we must generate three trajectories, two of them are straight trajectories, while the trajectory in the middle is a transition trajectory that joins both points, uh, means uh, both approximation points, at a given velocity. The velocity and the acceleration at the beginning of the trajectory uh, are zero, and, um, and the velocity at the approximation points, it's a value that must be provided, and uh, usually we assume at these points that the acceleration is zero as well. To compute these trajectories, we must use uh, previous expressions, with the exception that here, in the notation, I use the bitwise uh, multiplication operator, that's the inner dot product of two vectors, so the one here is actually a vector of ones, and the trajectories S are actually vectors of trajectories, since all the computations are carried out uh, independently on each of the coordinates. Here we see an example in which uh, starting from point P0, we want to reach point P2, passing approximately through or by P1. Its segment lasts 3 seconds and the velocity in magnitude at the approximation point in this case is set to 1, while the acceleration is always 0. The, uh, at, the, at the point, I mean. The velocities and the accelerations at the beginning and at the end of the trajectories are set to zero as well. Applying the expressions to compute these quintic uh, trajectories or fifth order trajectories that we have already discussed, we would obtain a set of trajectories that would allow us to achieve the desired objectives, as you can see uh, from the figure. Well, in this video we have seen how to generate a smooth trajectories using a fifth-order polynomial expressions. Thanks a lot.